Hello everyone, Crazy Nice here, and I have my air conditioning on, so that's what's coming into the mic right now, though. And, Crazy Nice one, two, tell you about Kakagurui episode five, because I am late, and I ended up doing two videos for, for, me a coastal or welcome to the ballroom. So I'm going to the Kakagurui now. So let's see here. Yeah. Alright, we need to talk about what a shit stain this asshole is. I don't even know his name, so there is a good thing for that. And there was another young character, a lady who's also a house pet. I hate the idea of house pet. It's actually a very scary concept, so... It's a kid basically gambling away their lives before they're 18. That is bad. Alright, here we go. Uh, in this episode, it's more about the victim rather than... The villains. So it's the girl used to have really big hair. She were she had really beautiful hair. And when she became a mitten, like a house pet girl or a, or a Mike, they she she was savagely attacked by the other boys. Horrible shit things to the guys. These guys cut her hair and well and it's heavily implied that some more horrible things happened to her like Should I really be talking about this on YouTube? She might have been savagely hurt in a way. It's a crime against nature to not be a gentleman, <laughs> in my book. <laughs> and well, she becomes as a mental dilemma because Yumiko begins empowering her. She said all the good things like you do not need this asshole telling you what to do. This is your chance to fuck him up and get back your womanhood basically. <laughs> yes, every This man is basically every feminist nightmare <laughs> and so she get, makes her brave and she talks. She makes her brave and well she literally makes a bet which makes her come second. And Yumiko became third under her own accord only just to save that girl. Yumiko is actually becoming a pretty good character. A character that has a height. And she's not afraid of a little depth. That is very, very cool. She's not afraid of a little depth. And she's too crazy for, for anything bad to happen to her. And, well... Oh bad, I'm sorry. Mm. And this guy becomes a house pet with with Yumiko's old fucking depth on his ass. That is awesome. And now he can't pay it back, even if he works his entire life for 20 years I, I'm pretty sure that 
you can only pay that in 20 years of his life working. That would be horrible. I mean, seriously. What are their parents going to think? They'd probably disown him just to fucking not have that debt on their family. And so, we end this episode off with Zumiko with a 30 million yen debt, which is a lot better than she has a more of a chance to earn back her her freedom from the life plan, which is basically her life being planned out for her. And so, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you did, and I hope to see you again next time. And this is a good episode, so let's do that. Click the annotations on my on this side to more videos and what YouTube recommend for you. And click over here to subscribe to some channel that I am with. And so thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like and see you again next time. Why did I say that again? Ah!